Stand for what you believe. If you're going to do something that matters in this world, you can't be swayed by fear of man. You have to live by your convictions. Sometimes you have to stand up for what you believe, for what is right. Some people live for the money. Some die for it too. Some people live to make it on their own. Some die before they do. But I know that there's a better way. Some people live. We are in the world, but we are not of this world. All of us have a responsibility in our sphere of influence to affect people. I at times relate to musicians and what they're going through. I can talk to them and identify with some of their challenges. The idea is to try and leave them feeling better about themselves after I leave. To some extent, we are affected by the culture that we live in. But the question is whether we have some sort of impact on the world and culture that surrounds us. Are we able to influence those around us with good, godly values? Can we get involved in making decisions around us that will make a difference in this world that we're living in? Let's Jesus says to us, go into all the world and preach the gospel. Unfortunately, we built buildings and said, come and forgot to go. Now, of course, meeting together and having corporate worship and being fed is very important. But that is so that we can go, so that we can live our life every day, interacting and caring with the people around us. Jesus cared about people and what they were going through. He was always moved by compassion. We need to have that empathy for people. Whether he was teaching or whether he was healing someone, he always had a heart of compassion. Talking to people should come from a caring heart. God has us here because he wants us to be an influence. If you are alive, you should be doing something. There is someone out there that God wants you to speak to. It is never too late for you to do something. You are here for purpose. You have a destiny. God has a plan for you and that has not changed. In His presence, plans and strategies You are not an accident. You are not a mistake. You have gifts. Discover them and develop them. At every age, you can be productive and fruitful. 
There is a seed of greatness within you. God is asking you, what are you doing with what I gave you? Don't allow fear to hinder you. God has not given you a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and a sound mind. Get out there and do something. If you lack the resources that you need, do it anyway. We've always launched out without what we've needed and the resources came later. God does give provision for the vision, but it is often not the first thing to come. Do it anyway. We have to step out and walk by faith. As we step out, the provision comes, the boldness comes, the doors open. Our God is more than enough. If you are faithful over a few things, God will make you ruler over many. Never let go of your dream. Be strong, be courageous, stand for what you believe.